Well, hello, this is Rochelle and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm just going to be doing a little bit of art journaling. Um, I've got these Lacey Lou cutout inserts um, that is by K Craft, and you can pick them up from your local craft store here in South Africa. They really are just super gorgeous uh, and so many possibilities, like it feels endless, the possibilities. So that's the journal I'm using, uh, the Lacey Lou journal cover, and then the inserts. These inserts I've painted in advance. I did do a live webinar on Saturday using this journal and these inserts. So I kind of pre-painted uh, the inserts with Faber-Castell acrylic paint and uh, just gave it kind of like a just dry brush in one color trying to play with some complementary colors uh, in my journal and I love how my November has turned out blue and orange just all over so these cute butterflies are from a printable by his palette um, actually two printables by his palette the one is the flight in orange and the other one is the flight in blue and I just like I want to use all of the butterflies. I spent so much time trying to pick the ones that would actually make it onto the um, insert, but they're just all so gorgeous. And uh, you can, I, I'm trying to show you that you can still make them your own, even though these are kind of, uh, you know, a printable butterfly, you can still put some glimmer and glam to it. Uh, I used a Wink of Stella brush the clear one that's got just some sparkle on it to add some shimmer to the blue and then I'm using this copper mica powder by 13 arts um, just mixing it with a bit of water and then adding the shimmer of bronze or copper to this orange butterfly and I'm going to be doing the same with the third butterfly yes there's three <laughs> on this um, page and just adding the shimmer from the Wink of Stella and the uh, mica powder mixed with a bit of water and you can see just the beautiful gloss that it gives it. I love the shimmer and the just the extra bit of detail <laughs> to it. Um, like I said th there's actually really no way that a printer as such is going to give you these kinds of details so that's the fun part with having printables. You've got the kind of base artwork that you you don't need to be very artistic to do anything more than that. Um, and I love that about this cutout insert as well. It's just, it's done all the work for you. And all you need to do really is just play and have some fun. So I combined the mica powder and the Wink of Stella on that third one. That's got both the blue and the orange. I did Google <laughs> complementary colors um, before I started out this journal just because I really don't have any color theory uh, knowledge so I needed to teach myself and in the end uh, you saw my video from Monday it's got the blue and the oranges and today as well the blue and the oranges just adding back some of the lines with some of the details that got covered by that mica powder and I'm using a pit artist pen in various nib sizes and colors to do that I love this brown it is just <laughs> my favorite Everything's my favorite, you know me. <laughs> so as with my webinar on Saturday that uh, was aired on the Hobby X uh, platform. Hobby X is our annual uh, expo for crafters and hobbyists here in South Africa. And uh, we did a live webinar for the first time on Saturday the 31st. Um, and as with that uh, webinar, I am using the gloss 3d gloss for these butterflies just to give them some body and then also i'm going to use that same gloss to just stick them down only on their bodies i did want to add some kind of a title to this in the end i might just go back and fix that it's not my favorite i didn't plan it out i should have penciled it out first <laughs> and there's where you see that i only added the gloss or the glue to the back of the body so that the wings of this but these butterflies will still have some movement now to start with i thought that i was going to use those uh, liquid pearls or nuvo crystal drops in that center 
as my accent piece but then decided against that using the butterflies so I did have to put some extra glue on this butterfly just to stick it on top of that textured surface with the Nuvo crystal drops um, here's where I go dotty <laughs> and I love it my good friend said that you need to be careful between going dotty and being dotty um, and uh, just yeah, going nuts <laughs> but I uh, don't have any dot art tools as such but I've seen them do this uh, in classes and it's something I think I'm very intimidated by what if I don't get it perfect what if I don't get them you know even and all of that stuff so uh, for this video I am makeshifting some dot art tools by using the back of a Faber-Castell multi-mark pen, pen which has got like a green eraser type thing at the back and I use that green eraser in the white deco art Americana paint to create the big dots and then I'm using a uh, I think this is a, a groovy plate tool that also has a ball on each side so that you can use that as a dotting tool um, for the orange cover I'm trying some bright blue but I don't have a bright blue on hand so I'm going to use this kind of dusky blue um, and in the end I actually quite like what it looks like and I'm using the back of a paintbrush that's got a uh, in-between kind of dot for that and now I've heard my friend Trish from Art Journal Junkie say uh, walk the dot. I think that's what she said. So I'm going to try that. Apparently it's when you dot or when you dip once and run the dot down without re-dipping. So the dot kind of gets smaller. <laughs> yes, no, I know. It's crazy all these dotting terms. <laughs> so there you go. You'll see that I'm just adding some dots. And when I then put my insert back into the orange one or the blue one back into the orange one, I do uh, see that it has a little something missing. And so I am going to add some more dots to some of the pieces closer to the butterfly. So in other words, the blue parts that are going to be sticking out from underneath the orange uh, insert. And again, just trying that to walking the dot or whatever that's called. <laughs> Um, and I quite enjoy the effect. I think it is quite therapeutic. Um, and I think that's the way with all art forms um, or any craft that you do. It just creates a space where you can relax and, you know, be happy. So from a happy me using beautiful butterflies by his palette um, printable. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I do hope that I see you again soon and get creating. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.